Welcome to our deep dive into a powerful and often misunderstood technology known as LRAD. It's been called the voice of God, but what exactly is it? Where did it come from and why is it so significant? Stay tuned to find out. The story of LRAD, short for Long Range Acoustic Device, begins in the early 2000s. After the bombing of the USS Cole in 2000, the US Navy sought new tools to protect ships and personnel from threats at a distance. Traditional methods like loudspeakers just weren't cutting it, especially in chaotic situations where commands and warnings needed to be delivered across long distances. In response, a company called American Technology Corporation, now known as Genesis Inc., developed the LRAD system. Its primary function is to project highly focused, powerful sound over long distances, much farther than conventional speakers can manage. Think of it as a loudspeaker on steroids with a reach of up to several kilometers. The technology was initially designed to communicate with small vessels that might approach too closely to Navy ships. But soon, LRAD's capabilities began to be noticed by many other organizations ranging from police forces to humanitarian aid workers. It doesn't fire bullets or missiles, instead it uses sound as its medium, a force that is both invisible and omnipresent. Thank you for joining us to explore this fascinating topic. If you are enjoying watching this content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos about the technologies shaping our world today. So how exactly does this technology work? Unlike conventional speakers that spread sound in all directions, LRAD uses an array of piezoelectric transducers to emit sound waves in a tight directional beam. This means it can focus sound like a flashlight beam, targeting specific individuals or groups while minimizing the risk of unintended listeners being affected. The device is capable of producing sounds up to 162 decibels, louder than a jet engine at takeoff. That's enough to cause discomfort, pain, and even hearing damage if you're in its path. But its true power lies in its ability to transmit crystal clear voice messages across vast distances making it incredibly effective in delivering commands, warnings, and even dissuading hostile actions. LRAD has an additional feature known as the deterrent tone. This high-pitched noise can be used to disperse crowds, repel intruders, or incapacitate people temporarily. It's designed to cause discomfort rather than permanent harm. LRAD's military applications quickly expanded beyond just communication. In modern warfare, LRADs have been deployed in conflict zones like Iraq and Afghanistan. The US military uses the technology to control checkpoints, disperse hostile crowds, and communicate with civilians in contested areas. Because of its precision and ability to project voice messages over long distances, LRAD has been crucial in situations where traditional communication systems fail or are too dangerous to use. For example, troops can issue clear verbal commands to individuals or groups from hundreds of meters away, giving them the chance to comply before more forceful measures are taken. This capability not only protects soldiers, but can help prevent unnecessary escalation of violence. But why is LRAD sometimes referred to as the voice of God? The nickname originates from LRAD's ability to deliver commands or warnings in such a clear, loud and distant manner that it feels as though the voice is coming from the sky itself. Imagine being in a war zone, hearing a powerful voice directing you from nowhere, even though no one is visibly near. It's not hard to understand why soldiers and civilians alike describe it as an almost divine experience. In some military operations, this has even been used to play psychological warfare. The disembodied voice of an unseen force can cause confusion, fear and uncertainty in enemy combatants. This psychological element has proven effective in situations where physical deterrence might fall short. While its origins are in military and defense applications, El Arad has found its way into the hands of police forces and private organizations around the world. It's been used in large-scale public events, protests, and even disaster relief operations to communicate with crowds. However, this has sparked controversy. In the US, LRAD has been used during protests like those surrounding the 2020 Black Lives Matter movement. When used in crowd control, the device can cause significant harm if directed at people at close range, sometimes resulting in temporary hearing loss or permanent damage. Critics argue that its use on civilians violates basic human rights, citing its potential to be misused as a form of acoustic weaponry rather than communication. Some cities have seen lawsuits filed against law enforcement agencies for deploying LRAD at protests. 
But El Arad isn't just a tool for war zones and law enforcement. Humanitarian organizations have used the technology to aid in disaster relief efforts. In situations where people are stranded or displaced by natural disasters, LRADs can deliver critical instructions, warnings about dangerous conditions, or inform survivors where to find food, water, and shelter. Additionally, LRAD is now being employed by commercial ships to ward off pirates. In high-risk areas, such as off the coast of Somalia, ships use LRAD systems to warn off approaching vessels or even disorient potential pirates with its powerful deterrent tone, all without resorting to lethal force. Here are a few fascinating facts about LRAD. As technology evolves, the future of LRAD remains promising. While its controversial use in civilian scenarios has led to pushback, its ability to communicate across great distances will continue to make it a valuable tool in military, law enforcement, and even environmental applications. Expect to see smaller, more portable versions of LRAD and new ways for it to be integrated into smart cities, disaster relief operations, and more advanced military technologies. In conclusion, LRAD represents a fascinating intersection of sound, technology, and human communication. Whether used for saving lives, maintaining security, or controlling crowds, it's clear that this voice of God will continue to make waves, quite literally, well into the future.